Hi, this is Mike with TabSite. I'm going to lead you through a quick demo on the sign up and setup of a free TabSite account using TabSite's new drag and build system. So, to begin with, I'm going to go to www.tabsite.com and I'm going to click on the sign up button. When the page appears, it's going to display all the fan pages that uh, I am an admin of and I can select one of those to assign a tab site account to. Uh, a tab site account is unique to each fan page. You can manage them all from one area so if I have you know five uh, different tab sites under my ad administration I can sign up a tab site for each one of them and manage them all from one tab site manager area but I do do need to sign up a unique account for each one. So in this case you see the first one that comes up there is called tab site demo and that's just a demo fan page that I've created. I'm just going to scroll down you can see some of my other fan pages that I have there um, and so basically that's the selection process so I'm going to say I want to assign this tab site account to tab site demo and for this purpose here I'm going to use the free account so I go down and I accept the terms and I hit next step. That is basically creating my tab site account. And when it's done, it takes me to the tab site manager. It says, Thank you for signing up. Click here to start managing your tab site. So I'm going to follow the instructions. After I click, it's going to give me the option to select the name that I want for my tab site. And in this case, since I have a free account, I have three options of what I want my tab to be called. I can call it Drag and Build, which is the tool system, the suite of tools used by tab site. I can call it Tab Site or I can call it Welcome. Now, Facebook allows you to customize that name uh, to whatever you want on the fan page itself. So it's uh, really immaterial here. It's just for my purposes. I'm going to call it Welcome. And I'm going to Submit. And this is going to begin the process of installation of the custom tab site tab on my fan page. So I get this yellow pop-up box. You have not added tab site to your fan page. To do so, click here. Be sure to add the tab site tab to the top of your fan page and I'm proceeding forward by clicking on the link. And when I do, it's going to take me to Facebook and we'll go through that process because right now we're going to be installing the app on the fan page itself. loading and you see at the top here it says do I want to add welcome that's the name of my tab by the tab site iframe app which is us to and it says add it to and I, I want to make sure I have the right fan page here because it won't work if it's uh, signed up for one and applied to another so tab site demo is indeed the fan page if you have more than one they would be in this drop down so that you could look through them all but in this case that is correct so I'm gonna hit the blue button add welcome tab by tab site and it's going to install that on my fan page. And we're going to bring up the fan page right here. And we can see that uh, it's a brand new fan page. I don't have anything else on it. But I do have a welcome tab now by tab site with the custom T icon. And that icon can be customized with our uh, gold plan. So you can have a custom icon there next to your tab name if you so choose and so I'm going to click on the welcome tab and it's going to tell me that I don't have any content in uh, on my tab because I haven't set any up yet but this is just to show you the um, tab itself with no content that we've applied to the fan page there it is no content has been set up log into the tab site manager so I'm going to go back to the tab site manager and there's that yellow box. I've already done that, so now I'm going to X out of the yellow box. And here I am with the tab site drag and build system. 
So basically I start with a blank canvas. I'm going to orient you to the page a little bit here. Uh, I can preview my page once I have content. Uh, I could save it and I can look at my different pages with the free version. You get one tab with two sub pages. So I have working on one page now and I can create another one and uh, do that. So uh, that's a little orientation there. The big key is the widgets on the side. This is the content widget. If I hover over them, it tells me a little bit about them. Uh, the content widget is going to give me the content editor, the full what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG editor. I also have the image widget where I can add images to my fan page. And you'll notice um, there's a difference in these widgets. Some of them are blue or some of them are gray. At the, the gray ones are not available to me at the free level. It's just showing me what I do have. And uh, for example, here's the video widget. The video widget gives you the ability to add YouTube, FLV, and Vimeo videos to your tab site. And if I wanted this one, I'd have to upgrade. So that's a little example there. But um, let's go ahead and get started. The other key item is right up here. It's called Image Tray, where I can add images. And um, I'm using Firefox, so I have the ability to drag to upload. So I'm just going to go and um, drag a file folder onto my screen so you can kind of see it here. And I want to get some images into my tab site. So I'm going to select all of these images and I am simply going to drag them up into this area and those images will load into my image tray. You see it's at 0% now and it's beginning that upload process. And I'm going to go ahead and move my images out of the way there. I just wanted to do that so you could see my process and my images are loading into this area and while that's loading I'm going to go ahead and drag a content widget onto my page. The widgets come in, now it's opening up And it's asking me if I want to add any text and I can add simple text um, type of course I can um, add bullets and numbers if I want to Ooh, misspelling there already two and I'm good to go if I accept that add that text back there. Now watch what I can do with this. I'm just going to click once with my mouse and I'm dragging it. I can move that around wherever I want to. And let's say I want to add a image. Next I'm going to drag that. I'm holding my mouse down and dragging it on. You notice it's giving me some information there. As I move it around my uh, it's telling me where I'm at. So I'm at negative two pixels which means I'm off the screen and then at the top I'm at zero. I'm still off the screen at the top and so I can slide it around and then it says do I want to add an image and I do want to add an image. I'm going to drag one over there 